Welcome to Ruth and Ruby's and the Ruby Challenge. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ruby Rose Turner, and welcome to our virtual sleepover challenges. Hey Ruth, what's up? What have you done today? Help my mom clean the house, watch TV, went on a bike ride, and annoyed my brother, the usual quarantine stuff. Sounds like you're telling the truth. But are you? Yes? Why are you acting so weird? I'm just practicing because tonight we're going to be asking each other questions that distinguish truths from untruths. This is the True Confessions Challenge. This challenge is pretty simple. One of us is going to make a statement that is either true or false, and the other person has to see if our story checks out. Okay, I'm opening up my envelope now. I karate chopped a board of wood in half. Where were you? I was actually on the set of Coop and Cammy Ask the World. Okay, all right. And do you remember what was for lunch that day? I believe it was pizza. Yummy! How many boards were there? Was it just one or was there multiple boards? I only karate chopped one board. I believe my co-star Albert karate chopped two, in fact. Now, I do think that it is in your physical capabilities to do so, but is it a lie? Why would it be a lie? Of course not. Hmm. I'm going to have to determine that... I'm going to say it's false. Well, Ruthie, this was, in fact, a... Thanks, sorry! Give me this monocle for nothing. Although that would really be cool. I should maybe take up karate chopping in my future. My uncle has a pet monkey named Walter. Your uncle has a pet monkey named Walter. Hmm. Hmm. How old is this monkey? About probably 10 years old. Maybe a little older than that. All right. Is it a friendly monkey? It's pretty friendly. I remember one time he surprised me at school in front of all my friends in like fifth grade and I became instantly 10 times cooler. Everyone was like, what, your uncle has a monkey? It was really exciting. Hmm, I think me and this monkey would be friends if it was real. You are telling a lie. Sure, I am positive. You are correct, but my uncle has a pet blue macaw named Roscoe. Yes, Roscoe. Everyone give it up for Roscoe. Some of those anecdotes were real, like coming to my school and surprising me in front of all my friends. But you are correct. There is no monkey named Walter. It's a blue macaw named Roscoe. Okay. I won a hot dog eating contest. All right. <laughs> where? Where? First off, where? At my sixth birthday at this ranch. I spent four years of birthdays there, and it was my favorite. Okay, so we've got the where. Now, when was it? Which birthday again? My sixth birthday. Oh, your sixth birthday. Oh, we went way back. Do you remember how you felt when you finished eating all of the hot dogs? To be honest with you, right after I finished, I felt great, but then I went on a pumpkin patch ride, and then I didn't feel no. so great. But right after I won, I felt great. I was, It was a victory, and I love hot dogs. And how many hot dogs did you have to eat to win this said competition? Well, I actually ate three hot dogs only. And what was this prize? The prize was front row seat on the pumpkin patch ride and a really cool face paint. I can actually show you a picture. You know, I am uncertain. But deep down, I want to say it's true because I really want this story about you to be true. So I'm going to have to go with it's true. Wait, Ruthie, you got it wrong. <laughs> it's a lie, girl, I wish. I know that's not your favorite, but it was really good at connecting that you went on a pumpkin patch ride after and saying that was the prize. That was good thinking. I met Tracy Morgan in the Bronx. You met Tracy Morgan in the Bronx. Okay. How old were you when you met the Tracy Morgan? Um, I think 12 years old. Gotcha, you, gotcha. You. Now, when you met him, was he nice? Oh, he was extremely nice. Um, he was sitting in his car and he was talking to a bunch of people that were coming up to him. So then I myself walked over and told him that I was a fan of him. We took a photo, he was really nice, and that's kind of where interaction ended. Now, Ruthie, tell me more about this car. I mean, how did you, how could you possibly see him in a car? He was, 
you know, bumping music, so it was really hard to not see him. And it was this really shiny red car. All right, Ruthie, I know you pretty well. I'm gonna say your story is true. And you're positive. I am absolutely, positively positive. That is correct. <laughs> to own two aquatic frogs. <laughs> okay, what were their names? Their names, uh, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't even think we named them. And where did they stay? Which room? They stayed in my family kitchen room. And I know it sounds weird that frogs were in a kitchen, but I promise you, they were small, it was fine. See, I know you have peanut, I know you've had many cats. What made you not? want to name these frogs. I actually don't know why I never named them. I do feel bad. That sounds like a lot of lies to me. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going on a limb here as this may definitely be incorrect, but I'm just gonna say it's false. I feel like you don't have anything behind it, really. And if it is true, then I'm really sorry for those frogs. They never received receive the proper names they deserve. <sighs> You are incorrect. That is a true story. And I'm actually ashamed because I didn't name them and it is a true story. <laughs> that is horrible. I'm just kidding. I know. I never named them. <gasps> okay, I'm going to go with this one. Okay, whatever you're ready, Ruthie. I have seen a volcano erupt in person. Hmm. Where were you when you got to see this amazing volcano erupt in person, Ruthie? I was in Hawaii. You were in Hawaii. Okay, how long ago was this amazing trip in Hawaii? This was four, nope, five years ago. Hmm, nice. There is no lie that you love the tropics. I know you're part-time Ruthie, part-time mermaid, so you're not second guessing that at all. How did it feel when you saw this volcano erupt? It was kind of scary, but at the same time, it wasn't like a huge volcano because I mean, I, I was on it like a tour, so it was kind of scary to see it kind of the lava come down, but it was also really exciting knowing that I was safe and that I could still witness it. I know that you and your family love to travel a lot and I have no doubt in my mind that you are just such an adventurous girl. And so I'm gonna say you're telling the truth. Well, Ruby, you are incorrect. Boom, gotcha, no! bam, uh, sold it. I thought I was gonna win. <laughs> I always, I know you love to go on vacation. I am so happy I got, you know, I got won by you. But <laughs> Ruby, hey, and I mean this in the best way possible. You are a fantastic liar. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> Let me choose this one. No, no, let me choose this one. Yeah, let me choose this one. I bungee jumped off a bridge in Australia. Okay. Okay. When did you go to Australia is my first question. I went to Australia when I was 11. It was actually right before I booked Coop and Cammy. All right. Okay. Were you scared to join in said bungee jumping? I mean, I was terrified. As you know, Ruthie, I love heights, but those kind of heights were a little bit extreme. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong. I know from our experiences that you are a risk taker. You are an adventure seeker. And I feel like you would have possibly shared this momentous experience with me. I actually would like to elaborate on that because I would have shared it with you. But here's the problem. I was terrified. I'm going to have to say that my verdict on this is that it is false and you have never bungee jumped in Australia. Okay, Ruthie, I'm going to say you are correct. I, you would have told me. I mean, that would be awesome if I did get this bungee jump, but no way would 11 year old Ruby have. That is crazy. I would love to bungee jump with you. Is that something you'd be down for? We should do it together. Our last and final Round is... <laughs> While I was swimming at summer camp, I was told there was a great white shark in the water. While you were swimming at summer camp, who told you that there was a great white shark there? 
It was one of the aides in the water who was swimming with us at each checkpoint on the swim. Well, Ruthie, you've always kind of struck me as someone who's not really afraid of sharks, so why would that scare you? Well, I must have given you the wrong impression because I am utterly terrified of sharks, especially when I'm swimming out in the ocean. That's a no-go for me. Did you ever see that great white shark? I never saw it, but I heard that it was very, very close. Okay, so after a while of hearing this, I'm gonna declare your story hmm, is true. It is, in fact, true. <laughs> telling the truth or not. I was so confused on all of my stories. I know, there's a lot of our stories from when we were younger and we have to dig back in the memories. All right guys, well that was it for our true confessions challenge. And I guess it's time for me and Ruthie to go to bed. I'm going to bed, huh? Okay, what time? Ruthie, why are you still detecting me? Sorry, it's kind of my new thing now. Anyways, good night, I will see you guys soon. Bye. If you like this video, go check out more of the Ruth and Ruby challenges. Use the links in the description below. Welcome to Ruth and Ruby's Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ruby Rose.